Yeah, and my name is Gu Juan. I'm a Chinese five dan pro, and but I live in uh, Europe for a long time, so uh, I know many players here. Probably you know me too. Uh, well, last week I gave uh, three lectures, and uh, one was on uh, opening, middle game, and uh, end game. So the the this week I have one lecture. And uh, it was scheduled on Friday, but Friday I have to leave uh, for U.S. Uh, Go Congress, so I will leave on Friday already. Not uh, attending your uh, uh, closing ceremony, so I'm sorry. But anyway, so I changed my uh, my lecture to to, uh, to today. So I've been thinking, how huh, the the last lecture, what should I uh, study with you? So I thought, well, maybe let's have some more fun because uh, last week we studied things very seriously, and uh, also everybody's getting a little tired. Myself, me too, <laughs> very tired. So, and today I choose the subject that is uh, about Josekis. Um, but it's not just normal Josekis. I would like to uh, share my knowledge with you. That is. Uh, the development of uh, Josekis. So, well, in the West, you know, um, when I was young in the Go school, or now the the Asian uh, Asian kids, uh, when they start to uh, learn Go, they they learn a lot of the Josekis. So they have to memorize all of them. And in the West, uh, often I hear people say. Um, well, I um, I don't I hate Josephis. I don't play them at all. You know, you, you see the pros, they don't play Josephis, right? Gosita uh, says uh, we should not play Josephis. Okay. But actually, I think uh, this is a wrong idea. You know, Josephis is uh, they they are the basics. So from Josephis, we can play a decent opening, and we learn a lot of shapes from Josephis. Um, this uh, master Gosegan says uh, that we should not. Uh, um, actually, he says we should not follow, always follow Josekis. Yeah. So he is a very uh, a creative player. So if you look at his games, uh, all full of new stuff. But that doesn't mean that the master Gosegan doesn't know Josekis, right? So all the pros, they know all the Josekis, and uh, after that, in their games, so that they choose. There are a lot of pictures in their mind, so they choose this one, not nice. That one, not good for this position, and third one, still not good. Fourth one, no good. So after many uh, many pictures, uh, nothing is good. And in this case, they start to think, hmm, then I have to do something new. Okay. So, um, well, in Asia, in pro world, there is a, a big study that is, uh, you know, those young pros, yeah, those teenagers, they have a lot of uh, energy. So every day they come together and they, uh, you know, they, 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 they try to uh, study Josekis from the classic ones and they found uh, uh, new moves. Today, um, I'm going to uh, study with you. I will go, I'm going to show you some uh, interesting ones. Okay? So that means uh, um, studying Joseki is, uh, there are uh, many ways. There are boring ways, and there are interesting ways, and funny ways to study Joseki. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm going to show you a nice way to study Joseki. Um, well, this, uh, this is uh, one, the first one we learn, right? Yeah. And this is the one uh, in all kind of Joseki books. And then we have got uh, uh, this one. Uh, this morning I was checking, uh, you know, searching machine, I was checking uh, who did this uh, low move. Because this low move uh, recently becomes quite uh, popular among pros. It is because of the, the the territory, yeah. So if we finish this uh, Joseki, and uh, then we can see how that uh, black is occupying the corner. 
and after that, uh, black has uh, this kind of moves. Yeah, and the upper side, uh, upper right, uh, this uh, black stone occupies half corner, not the uh, full corner. So this is uh, why no. These days, the komi becomes bigger and bigger for for black, so that they uh, pay more and more attention to uh, territory. This is why the the C6 yeah becomes more and more popular. And today, I um, I was very happy to see that uh, actually this move uh, is uh, not really uh, new. Uh, it it's already exists for a long time. And uh, I checked the games. Uh, there was some, uh, you know, 50 years ago already exist. So this is not really new. Only now, you know, many uh, professionals they actually they just uh, dig deeply, you know, get all those uh, old moves come out to play. Now it looks like uh, modern Josuki, but actually it already it's already exists a long time. So. Uh, today we, I'm going to show you many of them that we uh, we see them in our games are uh, those uh, uh, normal ones, and you see this uh, in Korea. The last uh, ten years, last fifteen years, uh, they were very strong. Huh? The, this these young guys, they were winning all the time. And uh, this moment, uh, the Chinese young ones are coming up. So uh, every day they spend 10 hours or 15 hours, you know, and sitting there and a group of little kids, and they study all those uh, Josekis. So um, I will show some of uh, uh, the simple ones, which we can understand here. Uh, those uh, uh, pro, you know, those uh, uh, crazy young guys, they're, um, Typical like Korean Josikis, you can you can find in their games. So uh, I'm not going to make you all crazy. So <laughs> yeah, we will we will just uh, pay attention to um, to the ones we we can uh, understand. For example, uh, this R8, this move, uh, the, uh, the, the Joseki, the old Joseki is uh, this one, um, but uh, this one looks a little smaller, so uh, anyone can tell me why he plays a little slower? He doesn't like uh, all six. Oh. This one? No. This one? This one, yeah. Ah, very good. That is uh, one, huh? number one. And number two is that if black plays here, uh, white uh, need move to defend. If white doesn't, then black can invade. Uh, this upper side Josegi, I and I learned when I was uh, in my go school. So uh, you see now, uh, black escapes and white is losing his territory and the eyes. So uh, therefore, white uh, normally defend here. Yeah, and then black has this side. The, uh, you know, Kikashi, so white needs another move. So after all, uh, that uh, L17 move, this classic uh, Joseki move, many people think, oh, this is a little bit uh, too far, that black has a lot of Sunday outside. But uh, of course, this L17 uh, is not disappeared, uh, still there, but then we will learn uh, at what kind of, uh, yeah, under what kind of condition we can play there. So, Let's see what uh, I had here. So now they play. They play here. Huh? Uh, many games they play at R8. It is, uh, you know, uh, this one. Well, I ignore. Huh? I don't have to answer. And uh, if uh, if black plays here, also it's got it. So this white looks a little smaller, but actually after that it's just done. You know, uh, black doesn't. Have